bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We're meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Well, as you guys can see, I did separate Rambo from the flock. Uh, basically, just wanted the girls to have time to bond with the babies, uh, be stress-free, not get knocked around, especially when fighting for like treats. You know, we bring them oats in the morning. So I wanted to make sure that they would be able to get enough food to make sure that they're feeding their babies properly and that he's not, you know, pushing them around, being bossy. So we'll keep them pinned up here for a little bit. Uh, it's not a problem. He can see them all over the place. And, uh, you know, we'll just see how it goes for about a day or two. Thank you. 
So what I want to show you guys is the fur on this lamb. You can see it's just really thick and curly. Um, the ones that you're seeing in the video, most of them, four of them came out this morning. And this one was one of them. And then a couple of them came out the day before. And then we have two that have been on the ground. You guys have seen those in other videos. But just like the bees, lambs and horses and all animals that give birth in the cold weather, we just say it's God's design that they actually come out ready to face the uh, environment and to be healthy and strong. So don't undercut your animals and overprotect them because they're building up natural immunes right now that will take them into their adult life and onto the next breed of lambs. So that's it from the Homestead Sheep Barn. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's just a little quick one just to kind of give you guys an update on the babies that are dropping left and right. Just, you know, try to remember with your livestock, we know you guys love them and you care for them, but sometimes it can be overzealous. Let them do their thing and then just keep an eye on them. If you notice they're struggling, that's when you should intervene. So another thing we're gonna do is, this is the year we're gonna change out our flock. So the Rambo and the seven U's will be leaving the property this spring. If you're interested in starting your spring flock, get a hold of us via email. Maybe we can work it out where you could take this flock to your property and maybe start your sheep raising business and plus what we're going to do after that is we're going to tag the four that we keep behind the four ewes and we're going to tag them and then we're going to select names for them we've never done that here on the homestead except for rambo but we've never named our ewes we don't eat our ewes because that's our breeding stock so we're going to name them this year and we're going to ask you guys as we watch them grow in their personalities develop uh, to name the four U's that we keep behind. So again, if you're interested in getting sheep from us on the homestead, Rambo and the seven U's ready to go and make babies, uh, baby lambs, then you can uh, email us down below. And don't think we're gonna let you get out of here without seeing the song for the day. It's raining lambs, hallelujah, it's raining lambs.